Put your arms, put your arms down. Good afternoon, you lovely people, and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a little paw today. Um, hopefully, it's bright and uplifting, or it's interesting. I'm just going to try um, swiping in a different colour than you normally would swipe. So we give it a go. I might try um, half and half different different sides. We'll just see how we go. All the paint I'm using today is the Montmart Studio Acrylics. They're available in every country. Uh, if you're in the US or anywhere else but Australia, look on Amazon, they're available. And if you're in Australia, the link is below to the Capriol Shabby Chic where they have all of the items that I'm using today um, on their website. They have everything that I use. So I'm going to use this previously used canvas. All the paints have been mixed for probably nearly a week now. So not sure how they're all going to go but we're going to try. So this was the pale pink and I added white to take it down even further. All of this paint that I'm using today has got the two drops of the Helmar silicone in. So um, that's available worldwide. If you have a look on Amazon, Google it. You can find it worldwide. If you're lucky enough to be in Australia, then it's Australian made. So you'll get it off our Capriol Shabby Chic. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel on this my 75,000 subscriber week. Absolutely blown away. So thank you so much you guys supporting me, watching my videos, leaving such lovely comments. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, okay, let's get this ball rolling. This is probably like a really easy swipe for beginners, I believe, like an easy method. So give it a go if you are a beginner. And it also has some really wonderful effects for the season swipers too that uh, will pour us. So give it a go, I say. So I'm going to keep this side candy-ish, candy-ish looking. Um, but then I might go a bit dark and moody on the other side. So let's try this. So I've used the, it was pink, but I added more white to say paler. Then there's the magenta and turquoise. So this is the navy that I make up myself out of phalo blue, a dash of black and a dash of dark green makes a really nice navy. So give it a go. Make your own navy. It's really nice. And the same when I make my own um, Berry Delicious. I use, I'll start off with the crimson or a very dark red, add phalo blue, and that sends it kind of, um, yeah, like a really nice berry, berry delicious. What more can I say? <laughs> Very nice. So I'm going to put some turquoise in this too. So doing a, a split on the diagonal. It usually always works lovely. So it's definitely a style that's worth you guys trying because you can get some lovely results from it. I'm going to put some bit of white in this too. Oh, that was a, what is going on here? I've got some big boogers drop in it. Oh well, it's mixed media now. I don't know what's happening. Don't worry about it. Only paint. Oh, there's another one. They'll come out. If they don't, they'll look like something nice and lumpy. All cool, cool, too cool for school. Okay, uh, will I, will I, will I? This is the real deep red, the Oh, I believe it was the crimson. The crimson. A 
Lovely. Okay. Now I will go I add a bit of this on this side too. So this was like the brilliant red, but I know in some of these paints I added some leftover primary elements um pigments that are really quite bright and so they definitely brightened the whole look of this paint up quite a lot. So I'm going to give it a little tilt, just nice and gently. See what we, how we go with this. Just keeping, covering the canvas nicely. Let's take it nice and slow. That's it. Ooh, those colours those colours so vibrant lovely jubbly 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 lovely jubbly or whatever they used to say Dokey. Now I will, if I can find my duvalakis, um, just going to try and pick that, pick the goober out. It's got a bit of skin by the look of it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, get it out. I don't know what, maybe because the paint's been sitting there for a while, like I said, so it's just collected some little extra bits along its way. So any edges that you've missed, you don't worry too much about them. Got enough paint that's dropped off to just finger pop the sides. I'll do that back edge in a minute. So we're all good to go. I'm going to get my swipey tool which is the um, soft plastic file divider I just find these the best things to swipe with and you can just put them uh, just wash them under water so it's no problem right right here I'm gonna go for a yellow swipe this side oh, 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 oh. I'm going for a yellow swipe this side so it is not setting rules like you can only swipe in black or white. You can swipe in any colour you like and they, they t usually turn out really good. That is bent. My, my file divider was a little bit bent but you know, a little bit bent is sometimes good. Just wipe it off in between swipes. Just swipe this bit, just nice and easy, just bring it towards you, do it just nice and relaxed, no stress, no worries, all good. It's kind of turning into a berry delight here because it's all gone berry looking, berry delicious, berry delicious. So what colour will I swipe the other side, let me think turn it around so it's a little bit easier for me to swipe oh come on baby get up that shit sticking around it's getting heavy now <laughs> that paint on it okay wow there's some big things happening in there so I believe I need a dark color so I'm thinking maybe to swipe with the deep red on this side. So give it a go. So no rules remember about your swipe colour, just try them all. Oh, that didn't I miss the I miss the mark a bit there, but it's okay. Just go back over it. No problem. 
I can really kind of tell that this lockdown is getting to some people just by the comments that I'm getting over really, um, you know, what I see as no big deal. You know, people can, oh, your dog's barking and they put me off so I had to turn the video off. Well, you know, you have got a mute button so people are not really thinking or things like, I've sent you five messages and haven't you answered? You don't answer your messages. We got 75,000 subscribers and you get at least a thousand messages coming in a day. You know, it is a little bit difficult. So please people, that if you're sending messages to um, YouTubers that are doing this for free and you're sending them messages and they're not responding, give it a bit of thought that you're not the only person sending them messages. They literally would have hundreds if not thousands of messages coming in from people wanting to know diff all sorts of things you know what did you use in that paint what did you, you know that's why we put a description on the bottom and explain during our videos what we're using so you know trying to cover most people's questions and the funny thing is that we've got google and amazon that have everything <laughs> and um they don't want to look, they want you to answer it. Well, that's just not fair. Because <laughs> you just can't. I'd love to answer every single one and put a big long explanation and chat to you. But you, you know, the more YouTube, um, subs more subscribers you've got, you just can't do it. And I do try to read everything. Private messages are kind of a no-no with me because that's for my family. Um... I don't respond, I try not to respond to private messages because it's just overwhelming. Um, I have got a postal address there. Uh, yeah, so just a little bit of not complaining about the followers, but I, I am complaining when people get upset that I don't answer their questions and they haven't even looked for themselves. Well, that is a bit of a hiddledy-piddledy, kind of got some absolutely wonderful cells in different areas and then some big blobby things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for 20 minutes and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do balloon sliding on it. I haven't done the balloon sliding for a while. I'll just test it and see how thick the paint is my balloon has deflated a bit like how I'm feeling today but um, I'll just test it to see see that's a bit too runny to do anything this is the balloon slide where you slide the balloon through it and it's far better to have the paint absorbing to the canvas a little bit further um, would work out much better so I will give this a little break for 20 minutes it's actually coming into absolutely wonderful um, gems so yeah it sort of looks like all sorts of gems gemmy things happening in there so I'll be oh got you a bit out of frame sorry about that but look at those cells they are unbelievable so I will be back